This is an Oregon grape. My camera will focus on it. I'm in, oh, I think it's called Riverfront Park or Riverside Park, which is a popular place. Uh, here's the bush behind me. And these are edible. They are used uh, more often than not in jam. People don't normally just eat them on their own. Uh, so let's find out why they don't. Because they're sour. That's why. Mmm. Um, not bad. Ooh. They taste sour. Like, like a sour grape or like an unripe grape. But there's not like a whole lot of flavor there, just kind of like a tartness. Um, kind of like how a grape does not have much flavor, but these are like just very, very sour. If you were to take it and mix it with like sugar though, I'd say it'd be pretty good, but um, on their own, it's all right. I might nibble at a few if I'm passing through a park, but nothing that I would like, you know, write home about. But if you see these growing around, um, try making a jam out of it. I can't do it right now for you, unfortunately, because, you know, I'm not home. I'm out in uh, Washington. But yeah, if, uh, if I saw these like growing around in New York or something, which they don't, then uh, I would definitely like forage for them and make jam out of it, because why not? It's pretty good. Um, nothing too great, but not a whole lot to say about it either. Um, right now I'm getting a little bit of an aftertaste, though. A little bit uh, bitter. I think that's probably the seeds. I'm not sure if people eat the seeds or not. Maybe those seeds are poisonous, like just ate poison. I don't know. I don't think they are, though. Um, but you can totally um, eat those berries. But yeah, a little bit of bitterness. I see like mixing some sugar in it and maybe putting other kind of fruits in with the berries would kind of like make it a little bit more interesting. But on its own, it's all right. And I'm in Manito Park. It's a lovely uh, public park. It's around November, first week of November here. And uh, this is a yew tree. Yew trees are, I'm sure you've seen these. If you live in the U.S., you've seen these. Uh, it's a very popular, like, landscaping tree. People, like, will hedge their houses with it. And that little red berry in there, if you see that, that little red berry is actually edible. However, everything else will make you not just really sick, it could actually kill you. This is one of the most deadly plants out there. Uh, but, one that you can eat. That little seed in there is also very, very deadly. So do not uh, actually try doing this unless you're really, really careful. But what you can do is you can actually pop that little seed out, get rid of it. And it's really slimy, by the way. <laughs> that little bit on the outside, that is okay. Uh, I got like a few that I took the seeds out very carefully. You don't want to break one of those seeds because that would put you know some of that poison in there. And you also want to make sure that like the little top of it that would connect it to the stem is also gone. So all that I have here is basically a little bit of the, the sap, the stuff that's in the middle and uh, the outer bit of the berry. That is okay. Oh, this is a terrifying one to eat, gotta say. Um, it's slimy. There's not a lot there. It's sweet, though. No bitterness. No sourness. It's just kind of like... It's a little bit like just a simple syrup. Like a slimy, simple syrup. Not much flavor to it. Just like sweetness. Um, there's a little bit of a metallic taste to it, too. A little bit like coppery. Uh, yeah, that's kind of like a little disconcerting kind of flavor. Because if you're eating like a whole lot of these and you eat it wrong, maybe that coppery taste will mix with the blood that you're coughing up.
Who knows? Uh, so you can... Yeah, I would say, like, this is one that, if you're curious, give it a try. Uh, if, you're, if you really want to try all the fruits in the world, like I do, sure. But um, otherwise, not really worth the risk of eating, like, a little bit of that poison. Because uh, this is one that could probably kill you. If you're just kind of like, eh, it could go either way, I would say probably avoid them. Um, but, yeah. There's that. Hey guys, don't click out on the window just yet, okay? Listen to me for one second. I just want to take a quick moment and tell you about my Patreon page that I just started. This is a way for fans of my series to help contribute and make my show even greater and to expand on content, get new videos, and give you some cool bonuses and rewards. So if you have a moment, just click on this video right here. Click on me. And it'll be it'll take you to my Patreon page where you can learn more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye bye. I, I made this video too long. Um, yeah, you can if you don't want to go to the Patreon page, it's okay. Um, you can also click on one of these fruit videos. There's, there's one over here, you can go to the, the next episode, and you can go down over here to go to the last week's episode, and yeah. Oh yeah, sub subscribe. Subscribing is, is helpful, and um, like it, like it's good, L liking it is good. Um, and leave a comment, if you want to leave a comment, you know, tell me what you think, if you liked it, you hated it. Yeah, um, okay, that's it, bye-bye.